This video is about varicella zoster virus, which is a causative agent of chicken box and also herpes zoster or shingles. Let's first talk about the virus. It is one of the herpes viruses. It is double stranded DNA virus and it produces vesicular eruption on the skin and mucous membrane. And the disease caused by herpes zoster virus include chicken pox in which generally diffuse bilateral vesicular rashes occurs and it is usually affecting children. Then about zoster or shingles. Here reactivation of the latent varicella zoster virus take place and which is present in the trigeminal ganglia. Then about the chicken box. First pathogenesis. Here the portal of entry is upper respiratory mucosa or the conjunctiva. So the virus enter the body through upper respiratory mucosa or the conjunctiva, then the spread. After the entry into the respiratory mucosa or conjunctiva, it replicates in the regional lymph nodes and it is spill over and enter the bloodstream. It is called primary viremia. Then it is spread to liver and spleen and multiplies there. Then again it enters to the bloodstream and cross secondary viremia. The virus and the virus present in the infected mononuclear cells transported to skin respiratory tract and neurons. In the skin, it causes rashes, swelling of epithelial cells and ballooning degeneration of the vesicles. And in the respiratory tract, it causes shedding in the respiratory droplet and which leads to the transmission of disease from one person to another. Then in the neurons, the virus assists the neurons of trigeminal ganglion and it undergoes latency. Then the clinical manifestations. It has an incubation period of 2 to 3 weeks and the typical description of chickenpox rashes are it is vesicular and centripetal in distribution that is usually it start on the face and trunk and spread rapidly to involve the flexor surfaces and it is bilateral and diffuse in distribution then the rashes appears in multiple crops that is the lesion in various stages of evolution such as maculocapules vesicles and scabs can be found in one area at the same time then it is the disease of childhood but if it is occur in adult it will be more severe with bulbous and hemorrhagic pressures then complications complications are more common in adult and in immunocompromised individuals the most common infectious complication is secondary bacterial infection of the skin and the most common extracutaneous complication is CNS involvement. It includes aseptic meningitis, cerebellar ataxia, etc. and it is usually occurs in children. Then most serious complication of varicella zoster that is chicken pox is varicella pneumonia which develops more commonly in adult. Then about rice syndrome. It can occur secondary to varicella zoster infection this characterized by fatty degeneration of the liver following salicylate or aspirin intake. Then other complications are myocarditis, nephritis and corneal lesions and arthritis. Chicken box in pregnancy. Chicken box in pregnancy can affect both mother and fetus. In mothers, they are high risk of developing varicella pneumonia. Then fetal or congenital varicella syndrome the varicella zoster virus is highly teratogenic and the risk is maximum when mother acquires a primary infection during pregnancy the first half of pregnancy the fetus remains mostly asymptomatic in the second half of pregnancy the congenital malformation in fetus is more frequent characterized by cicatricial skin lesions limb hypoplasy and microcephaly then infection near delivery if mother gets infection greater than five days before delivery then baby is mostly asymptomatic due to protective maternal antibodies if mother get infection five days before to two days after the delivery maternal antibody would not have produced in such a short time so this leads to dissemination of virus in the baby to cause neonatal varicella 
then about zoster or shingles it occurs due to reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus in old age commonly in immunocompromised adults and the peculiarities about the rashes are it is unilateral and segmented and it is confined to area of the skin supplied by the affected nerve so it is restricted to a specific dermatomes then ophthalmic branch of trigeminal nerve is commonly affected and the commonly affected signs are head neck and trunk in the figure we can see the zoster or shingles are restricted to a specific dermatome then complications of zoster first is post herpetic neuralgia your pain at the local site lasting for months and it is the most common complication in the elderly patients then about zoster ophthalmicus here unilateral painful crumbs of skin rashes surrounding the eyes the presentation in the figure we can see the zoster ophthalmicus then ramsay hand syndrome it develops when geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve is involved it is characterized by tetrad of facial nerve palsy plus vesicle on the tympanic membrane and external auditory meatus and the tank then visceral diseases especially pneumonia can occur which claims for the most common cause of death in zoster patients then about lab diagnosis it include cytopathology virus isolation and virus zella zoster specific methods first about cytopathology germ staining of the scrubbing from the ulcer base reveal cytopathological changes similar to herpes simplex infection such as formation of multinucleated gene cells that is in the sacs meal we can observe the multinucleated gene cell it is the sacs meal reveals the gene cells multinuclear gene cells then about virus isolation virus isolation in various cell lines can also produce it just feel like cytopathological effect such as uh, diffuse rounding and ballooning of the infected cells then varicella zoster specific methods specific antigen detection by direct immunofluorescence staining also pcr detect varicella zoster specific genes then about treatment azeclovir is the drug of choice in case of varicella zoster virus infection and it can prevent the complications of the chicken bugs and can also halt the progression of zoster in adult but it cannot prevent post herpetic neuralgia then about the vaccine live attenuated vaccine using okay strain of varicella zoster virus is available it is given to children after 1 year of age two doses are given and the first dose is given at 12 to 15 months and second dose at 4 to 6 years then varicella zoster immunoglobulin it is recommended for post exposure prophylaxis and it is given within 96 hours of exposure preferably uh, 72 hours within 72 hours the immunoglobulin is given then it is indicated for neonates born to mother suffering from chickenpox then as a quick recap varicella zoster virus is a herpes virus and it can cause primary infection in the lymph nodes and secondary infection in keratinocytes and the neurons in the skin from the neurons in the skin it travels retrograde to ganglia and where it remains dormant then chicken bugs is characterized by rashes on the face neck and trunk that are macules papules vesicles and scabs then herpes zoster or shingles caused by reactivation of the virus with the vesicles located along one dermatome then what the treatment the treatment is usually symptomatic and azeclovir is the drug of choice then vaccines live attenuated vaccine using a constraint of varicella zoster virus and varicella zoster immunoglobulin